Hello everyone and welcome back to British Tech TV. Today I'd like to share a tip with you regarding old SATA hard drives. Now before I get to the old SATA hard drives what I'd like to uh, bring to your attention is many of you who do uh, video editing like myself will probably have a hard drive of some sort like this one which I've got in front of me. Um, this one is a 4 terabyte Hitachi hard drive and if you use for example Final Cut Pro then you would store your libraries and your video files on this hard drive. Now you can, I mean if you do regular projects and um, services and shows and um, you know if, if you're generally into video work you could fill one of these up really really quickly. So obviously once you've filled up your 4 terabytes then then you you know you'd be thinking about maybe storing this somewhere and buying another one and then continuing the same process um but I'd like to share a, a tip with you today that could save you potentially save you some money and um it has some added bonuses as well now what one of the disadvantages of um storing files on a drive like this is that um because it's four terabytes, you can imagine if you've got all your video files on here. Now, if this goes down, it's going down with potentially four terabytes of data. So that's going to be, you know, if this if this hard drive fails, you're going to have a lot of data which you're going to lose. And that this is where the uh, the the tip with the old SATA hard drives comes in. And uh, I'm going to share that with you now. Now, if you're like myself. Um, a person who's worked with computers a lot. I started building computers, making them and breaking them uh, uh, about from the age of 12 years old. And, um, you know, I've got quite a few of these um, SATA uh, 500 gigabytes to um, one terabyte drives lying around the house. Um, not only that, you can actually pick these up on eBay now. I I'm pretty sure I saw um, a one terabyte going the other day for about fifteen pounds. So you know, um, I mean, you can definitely get five hundred gigabyte drives for about ten pounds, which I I just checked um, yesterday actually. So you can pick these up. You know, you could have four terabytes. Let's say even if you were to pay fifteen pound for a terabyte drive, uh, you could pick four of these up, and that's like what sixty pounds. Um, so sixty pounds, and you'll have four terabytes, right? Okay, now, if you compare that to this, I think when I purchased this one here, uh, I paid about upwards of £150. I'm not sure if they're a bit cheaper now, but, you know, this is a, a USB 3, so it's a bit faster than um, uh, yeah, the other uh, USB 2 or USB 1. But, I, again, I paid upwards of £150. Now, I could have 4 terabytes in these, right? Uh and I'll probably pay about £60, okay? Now there is one other component which you need, which I'm going to introduce to you later on. Now what is the advantage of storing your data on on these drives rather than a big 4 terabyte one? I'm not talking about the professionals. I know professionals will have RAID and RAID uh, setups with you know a couple of drives and, and servers and things like that. I'm just talking about the average Joe like myself, you know, um, you know how how could this benefit us? Because these kind of drives, I mean, if you go to computer fairs, you probably pick them up for about five six pounds. If you can, uh, you know, get lucky and uh, find a, a, a local school or or they've probably got these stacked up somewhere and loads and loads and loads of them. Or some of these old computer shops, if you pop in and say, listen, you know, I'd like to bulk buy some of these drives, you can get them for dirt cheap, really dirt cheap. Um, so what is the advantage? Basically, I mean, the main advantage is, look, if you store all your data on this, right, and if it fails, it's going to go down, okay? So what you would do is basically, as you start, you know, using uh, more and more files, you'll get to a point where you'll have a lot of files on this drive that you're just not going to use anymore, okay? So they need to be stored somewhere, right? And you need that space, so you can use this fast drive for your da daily work as your daily driver. But the, the files that get older than a certain date, you would want to store them onto these. Okay. Now, if let's say for example, um, 
let's say for example this is four terabytes and I've got two terabytes here I could take two terabytes of my old files from here which ones that I'm not using anymore ones that I just need to store now and I could spread them across two of these right and that would free me up two terabytes if I get four of these I could take all four terabytes off okay that'll free me up four terabytes that'll free up the whole drive basically now the main advantage to storing your files on these is that you've got them spread out so if one file if one drive fails right you're not gonna lose all your work do you know what I mean you're not gonna lose all your work if, if this one drive fails you'll only lose some of your work okay so that's one of the main advantages and you know one of the reasons why I want to share, wanted to share this with you today because these drives are readily available they're very cheap and I personally think it's better to spread your work across multiple drives rather than have it all all your eggs in one one basket as they would say so you can get these for next to nothing um, you can get them on eBay right if you just go in and type in SATA hard drives and you can pick these up all day long for you know next to nothing so um, one of the things that I like to do on this channel is I assume that whoever's watching knows nothing so what I do is I explain everything in the simplest way because if you explain it in the simplest way then if the simplest person who's watching can understand it then the most advanced person who's watching can understand it as well. Now if I start explaining everything in technical terms and in a difficult way then only technical people would probably understand what I'm talking about so you know you know so forgive me if I sound a bit simple when I'm explaining things but that's just my style. So anyway so here we go so how would you now I mean how would you connect these two to a laptop or to uh, um, to a computer, a PC or a Mac? You know, without having. I mean, how how, how do you interface this, right? That's probably what you, the question that's coming to your mind is. How 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 is he going to interface this? How without having to open a, a desktop PC and fiddle about with the wires and stuff? You know, how is what is the easy way that we can connect these up to our laptops? our Macintosh Macs and our PCs to transfer our data from our main drive over to our hard drives and this is where the third component comes in and I'm going to show you that now okay so what I have in front of here me now is the third and the missing component or the missing link between the two hard drives which I showed you earlier and this is basically what is going to allow you to transfer your information from your main large 4 terabyte drive into these single, um, uh, you know, f uh, 500 gigabytes or one terabyte drives like these. So, what is this, and uh, you know, how does it work? This is called an external hard drive enclosure. Okay, a 3.5 inch hard drive enclosure to USB, and it says here up to five gigabytes. That just means that this is the maximum transfer speed uh, of this drive, the maximum speed at which you can transfer data from the, uh, the, the, the the hard drive to the, the the laptop or the PC or whatever you're going to connect it to um, and it also depends on the speed of the hard drive inside as well so how does this work okay if you have a look here it's really simple it's got a, a power switch okay where you would connect this power cable into okay so this power switch will go into um, into here right okay and then this is just a, a like an adapter that, like you'd have with a, a laptop or a, or a computer PC or whatnot and then you've got like a power cable okay it's just a standard power cable you know like a kettle power cable you would plug that into here right and then this will plug into your obviously we're in the UK so 240 volts um, I think that's a 5 amp in there or a 3 amp socket so that will plug into the wall um, this will plug into here and then inside here right, this is the interesting bit, I'm just going to move this out of the way for now because we don't need to see these, I've, I've kind of explained what they are right so if you have a look inside here right okay there is a USB 3 uh, cable okay now this USB 3 cable is going to connect uh, well, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute anyway. So what, what you basically do is you buy this box, and I'll leave a link for this or something similar um, in the description for the video. So what you do is you buy this box, okay, 
and you get your uh, 500 gigabyte or a terabyte drive that you picked up on, off eBay or you got from, locally from somewhere you had lying around the house and you these here are serial uh, oh, let's see no, that, yeah so these are serial ATA connections here there's a power and there's a, a data connection as well right and what you've got in here in this box here mm -hmm. is also um, power and data connection as well so all you do is you grab your drive okay and you slide it in and you connect it you just push it in and you'll hear a click and that's connected and then all you do is you grab the end of the box okay there's a cable here this is for if you want the hard drive lights to work um, you know if you want the hard drive the, 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 when the when when the drive the hard drive is um, uh, transferring data you can have like a light flash at the front but it's not necessary to connect that if you did want to connect it there's a connector here and then there's a connector here inside here as well so what you do is you would um, put this inside here okay like so right click it up click uh, close it right and then what you do is uh, remember the uh, USB hard drive which I was, uh, USB cable which I was showing you earlier what you would do is you would connect this USB cable okay and you basically plug that into any port on your laptop, your PC or your Mac, okay? And obviously the power cable I showed you where it goes in here and then you switch it on. Now, when it comes on, it will be in your, um, you know, if you look in your uh, directories, then you will see the drive there and you can rename the drive and you can format it. You can do this on Mac or on a, a PC or you know uh, on a laptop it's, it's all it's more or less the same thing so once you've formatted it then what you can do is you can also connect your old drive the one that you save your have all your work saved on and you can start simply you know obviously they'll be both connected to your um, laptop and you can start transferring the data over and that's basically all there is to it so you know um, you can transfer all the data over and then you've got your main drive free again uh, for you to uh, fill up uh, it'll probably you know take you another six months or a year you know and uh, and then you can do the same process again and the beautiful thing about doing it this way is that um, you know once you've once you've done it all you do is you just switch it off once you've transferred all your data you switch it off okay uh, pull your hard drive out, right? Put a sticky label on it. Uh, put the date and you know whatever you know reference you want to your files, and just shelve it. It's as simple as that. And then you can stack these up, okay? And you've got these stacked up uh, with all your past work, a library built up, and um, yeah. So you know, uh, it's something that I've recently started doing. And uh, you know, I found that I've, I've saved a, a ton of money doing it this way. And um, I thought, well, you know what? If this is something that uh, I've benefited from, then why not share it with my viewers and my followers? So, um, thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And um, you know, I hope it benefits you as well. Okay, bye for now.